One time the Prophet ﷺ was sitting with Jibreel Islam when suddenly the sky split open and an angel came down and descended closer to them. And as this angel came closer to them, Rasulullah looked at Jibreel and he saw that Jibreel was shrinking himself or becoming smaller or bracing himself as if he was afraid of something. And this angel drew close to them and said to Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, I'm a messenger that's I'm a messenger that's been sent to you from God. I've been giving you a choice. And I'm paraphrasing here, but the choices the angel gave to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam were to either continue to live as a king with all the riches of this world or to continue to live as a humble slave. And Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam looked to Angel Jibril and then he said to the angel, "Bil abdur rasula," that I choose to be a humble slave. Then the angel left, and Jibreel alayhi salam said that this angel has never been down on the earth before this day. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi asked Jibreel why he braced himself or shrunk himself as if he was afraid, and Jibreel alayhi salam said, he replied, I swear by Allah, I didn't think that he came except to announce the day of judgment, which means we can derive from this that the angel was Israfil. And after this incident, the Sahaba noticed that Rasulullah became even more humble. He, before this incident, he used to sit up and eat, or he would sometimes recline in a reclining position and eat. But after this incident, he only ate, he only ate sitting up, only ate sitting upright. And it was because it was more befitting for a humble slave. And we can also infer who the angel was referring to when he said, live as a king. He was likely referring to Suleiman Islam. And Suleiman Islam, he was a prophet of Allah, but he also was a, was a ruler who had all the riches of this world. And he also had the hereafter. Meanwhile, Prophet Islam never lived such a life. He grew up an orphan. And even when he was given this choice, Rasulullah Wasallam preferred to live like a humble slave. So for our Prophet who is given the title of Habibullah, beloved of Allah, and who is the best of the best of creation, and for him to choose to live like a humble slave, it is only befitting for us as his followers, as the members of the best Ummah, that we try to follow in his footsteps of what it means to be a humble slave of Allah or slaves of Ar-Rahman.